mistake and you feel guilty about it, I want you to know that everything is going to be okay. Everything is going to be okay. Everything going to be okay. You don't have to feel guilty anymore. You don't have to feel guilty anymore. You see, a lot of people, once they make a mistake, once they hurt someone that they love, they feel so guilty. They let the guilt consume them. You don't have to do that. Because you have a forgiving God. Once you ask God for forgiveness with a true heart, God has forgiven you. And he remember it no more. You make right with the person that you hurt. That person has forgiven you. You don't have to feel guilty anymore, anymore, anymore. It's time to let it go. It's time to let it go. And move on with your life. Move on with your life. Move on with your life. That's right. God love you. And what I'm going to do today, I want to plug that guilt away. Blessed shall be 
thou basket in the store. Blessed shall thou be when thou comest in, and blessed shall thou be when thou goest out. The Lord shall cause thee enemies that raise up against thee to be smited before thou face. They shall come out against thee one way and flee before thee seven ways. The Lord shall command the blessings upon thee in thou store, house, and in all that thou sit, sittest thee hand upon. And he shall bless thee in the land which the Lord thy God givest thee. The Lord shall establish thee in holy people unto himself as he has sworn unto thee. If thou shalt keep the commandments of the Lord thy God and walk in his ways. And all the peoples of the earth shall see thee that thou art called by the name of the Lord thy God. And they shall be afraid of thee. The Lord shall make thee penis and good and in the fruit of thy body and in the fruit of thy cattle and in the fruit of thy crown and the land which the Lord sworn unto thy fathers to give thee. The Lord shall open unto thee his good treasures, the heavens to give the rain unto thy land in his season, and to bless thee all the works of the hand. And thou shalt lend unto many nations, and thou shalt not borrow. The Lord shall make thee the head and not the tail, and thou shalt be above only and thou shalt never be beneath if that thou hearkens unto the commandments of the Lord thy God which I command thee this day to serve and to do all them and thou shalt not go aside from any of the words which I command thee this day to the right hand or to the left to go after other gods to serve them but it shall come to pass if thou shalt now hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God to serve and to do all his commandments and his statutes which I command thee this day that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee cursed shall thou be in the city and cursed shall thou be in the field cursed shall be thy basket and thy store cursed shall thou be oh cursed should be the fruit of thy body and the fruit of thy land the increase of thy kin and the flocks of thy sheep curse should be when thou comest in and curse shall thou be when thou goest out if you hearken unto the voice of the Lord our God and to do all his commandments God will bless you with plenty if you disobey God and do not hearken to the voice of God curses will come upon you uh, I also want to read Proverbs chapter 3 my son Forget not my law, but let thee heart keep my commandments. For lengthen of days and long life and peace shall they add to thee. Let not mercy and truth forsake thee. Bend them about thy neck. Write them upon the tablet of thy heart. So shall thou find favor and good understanding in the sight of God and man. Trust in the Lord with all thy heart, and lay not unto thy own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy path. Be not wise in thy own eyes. Fear the Lord, and depart from evil. It shall be healthy to thy navel, and marrow to thy bones. Honor the Lord with thy substance, and with the first fruit of all thy increase. So shall thou boys be filled with plenty, and thou presses shall burst out with new wine. My son, despise not the chastening of the Lord, they shall be worried of his corrections. For whom the Lord loveth, he correcteth, even as a father, the son in whom he delighteth. 
happiest the men that find wisdom and the men that get understanding. Do not forsake God's commandments. When God gives you wisdom and understanding, it's a blessing. Do not forsake God's law. Keep God's commandments. Keep God's law. It is healthy to your well-being. It is health to your life. It is health to your soul. My son, forget not my law, but let the heart keep my commandments. Keep God's commandments in your heart, always near you. Let not mercy and truth forsake thee. Bend them about thy neck and write them upon the tablet of thy heart. I swear. You see, I feel that a lot of people believe that since they believe that there is a God and that God exists, that they know that God is love and that God loved them, that they make them save. No, 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 no. You see, you also got to be obedient to God's word. That's right. You got to be obedient. Yeah. You must follow God's law. You must align your life up according to God's will. That's right. You see, the Bible tells us even the demons know that there is a God. And they tremble. Even the devil knew that God exists. Even the devil know that God is real. He was in heaven with God. But he was disobedient. And that's why he was punished and kicked out of heaven. So it's not good enough just to know that God exists. It's not good enough to know that God is love. It's not good enough to know that God loves you so much. You got to be obedient to God's word. That's right. When you truly turn your life over to God. When you truly accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. It's going to be some things. That you're not going to be able to do anymore. Because you know it's not aligned up according to God's will. It's going to be things that you're going to start to do. Because you know it's lined up according to God's word. See just like me. There are some things that I had to stop doing. Before I truly got saved. And truly turned my life over to God. I used to date two and three women at the same time. I had to stop that. I can't do those things no more. I cannot commit adultery. It's going to be things that you cannot do. See, the Bible tells us, God, people, we live in this world, but we're not a part of this world. That means we can't do worldly things no more. We can't do things that everyone else in the world is doing. No matter what you feel, no matter what you see everyone else is doing, it's going to be things that you cannot do no more. Because you got to be obedience. Obedience, obedience. To God's word, to God's word. Yes. So I just want to clear this up because I uploaded a video the other day and I see that a lot of people They know God exists because they believe in God that they are saved. You got to realize you got to be obedient also to God. Like I said, a lot of people know that God is real. A lot of people believe in God. It doesn't mean that they're saved. You got to be obedient. You got to do what God tells you to do. Even if you don't want to. Even if you don't want to stop doing those certain things. You got to be obedient. That's truly believing in God. Yes, God is love. God is good. God is just. God loves us all. But God also 
will punish those who are disobedient to his word. You see, you can lie to me. You can lie to your mama. You can lie to your daddy. You can lie to anyone and they may believe it. But you cannot lie to God and expect them to believe it. Because God searches your heart and mind. God knows if you know the truth. God knows if you know. So you must be obedient. You must be obedient. You see, I know I made a video about this once before, but I'm going to tell you again. If you're not saved, get saved now. The time is coming when God is on his way back. Do not play with your eternal soul. Hell is real. And a lot of people is going there because they haven't repented for their sins. They haven't accepted Christ as their Lord and Savior. They take life as a game. Life is not a game. We are in the spiritual world, And you got to choose a side. You must choose a side now. So if this is your first time running across one of these videos, this video is so important. I'm telling you now, you've been wondering what should you do with your life. You've been wondering, is it time for you to go ahead and start walking with Christ? This is your answer. This is the time right now for you to start walking with Christ today. Accept Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior and ask God to forgive you for all your sins. And align your life up according to God's word. Repent for your sins now. Don't wait till it's too late. Hell is real. And a lot of people is burning down there for all eternity. A lot of people have been tortured down there for all eternity. You do not want to be with those people. You want to be in heaven with God. Living eternal happiness. Living upon the God's grace. For all eternity. Eternal is forever. I don't care if you live on earth for a hundred years. It doesn't measure up to living in heaven for all eternity, forever. It's not a time limit on eternity. So you're going to go to hell or you're going to go to heaven for eternal. You must make that choice. Make the right choice. And ask for forgiveness for your sins before it's too late. Repent now and accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. This is so important. This is the most important decision you'll ever make in your life. Accepting Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior and walking with God is the most important decision you'll ever make in your life. It's the most important decision that you'll ever make in your life. It's more important than your family. It's more important than your pets. It's more important than anything or anyone by accepting God as your Lord and Savior. Ask for forgiveness for your sins now. Repent now. Christ once said in the Bible, He didn't come to call the righteous, but the sinners to repent. This is God calling you to repent for your sins and to align your life up according to His word. Walk with God is so much better. Life is so much good and better when you're walking with Christ. You feel much better about yourself. God open your eyes up to the devil tricks. A lot of people is walking with their eyes open but closed. Your eyes is open but they're closed. Because you don't see the devil lies because your, your eyes is closed. Let God open up your eyes. So you can see the devil for who he really is. He wants you to burn and be tortured with him for all eternity. He knows his punishment is coming. And he wants you to be with him. Because he is jealous. Because we are made in God's image. And that God loves us also. Don't be fooled anymore. Repent for your sins now. Repent for your sins now. Don't wait until tomorrow. Don't wait until the next hour. Don't wait until the next second. Get down on your knees now. Ask God. Come to God in the name of Jesus Christ. 
ask God to forgive you for your sins. Accept Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior. And build a relationship with God. And align your life up according to God's word. Get up and sin no more. Sin no more. And God will have a place for you. In heaven for all eternal forever. That no one can take from you. God is good. God loves you so much. God loves us all so much. That he sent his only son. Jesus Christ to die for our sins. To die for our sickness. To die for our hunger. God will provide you for everything you need. Turn your life over to Him. I know a lot of times we blame our past on the way we live in. The reason why we live a life of sin because of what happened to us in the past. Everything you went through. Everything God allowed you to go through. Is to build you up to be the person we need you to be. See. Sorry. So I wanna spin off in a car right now. Sorry about that. You see, when we go through things in life, we have a choice. We can let that past dictate our future, or we can let our past build us up to be the person that God wants us to be. When we go through things in life, we don't have to let that overcome us. We can overcome it. When you turn to God, you realize you are more than a conqueror. More than a conqueror. You realize that no weapon formed against you will prosper. Your past will not prosper over you. No weapon formed against you will prosper. You realize that you can defeat that and that you can make it work for your purpose. It can make you a better person. You don't have to let your past destroy you. You don't have to let your past send you to hell. A lot of us went through so much as a child, growing up. And I realized the reason why God allowed us to go through things like that is to build us up to be the person he needs us to be. To turn our life over to him so he can show you the goodness so he can show you his grace. You see a lot of times when you get everything you want in life, you have this beautiful life. You don't turn to God. But because you went through so much, it benefits you because you turn the life over to God. And you get to go to heaven. So, make your past work for you. Whatever you went through, let God show you the beauty. Let God show you His graceness. Let God show you who He is and what He can do for you. Align your life up according to God's word and repent for your sins now. You don't have to go to hell because you had a, a hard childhood. You don't have to go to hell because you was in a a spiritual relationship. Don't let your past determine who you're going to be right now. Don't let your past determine that you're going to go to hell. You don't have to be that way. You can make your past build you up stronger. A strong soldier in God. To where you help others. Who go through the same thing that you went through. You have a It's a testimony. You have a testimony. You can tell a person how it is and what you've been through. That you've been through the same thing they're going through. And you can help that person. So I'm here to tell you. Going to hell. It's not worth going to hell behind anything. Not your past or anyone. Hell is not worth it. You got a choice. You can go to hell, or you can go to heaven. The choice is yours, because you have free will. 
make the right choice and go to your disability. Anyone with Down syndrome, anyone who's autistic, anyone with ADHD, anyone who's bipolar, anyone who suffer from depression. I want you to know right now that God loves you so much and those around you love you so much. You got so many people that care about you. I want to thank you for the positivity that you have, the uplifted spirit that you have. If you suffer from depression, I want you to know that you are not alone. You got people that care about you. If you need someone to talk to, you can talk to those around you. They really do love you. They care about your well-being. They want you to know that you are loved. I want you to know that God loves you so much and that you are here for a reason. You got a reason to live. You got a reason for why you are here. You have a purpose. You have a purpose. You are loved. I love you. And God loves you so much. Jesus Christ loves you so much. God got a special place for everyone in his kingdom. You got a place with God in his kingdom. Trust in the Lord. Trust in the Lord. You have a reason to live. You have a reason to be happy. You belong to God. Anyone with Down syndrome. Oh, you guys. You guys are the light of the world. You put smiles on people's face. And I thank you for that joy that you have inside you. Thank you so much. Anyone who's autistic. Oh. You guys are sunshine to folks around you. You, you you're so happy. You got so much energy. You give those around you the energy that they need to move on. Even though you have a disability, you still live. You still live a happy life. You give us the energy and the positive we need to have that happy life. You show us so much. God got a special place for you in his kingdom. You are here for a reason. And I thank you so much. And I love you. But most of all, God love you. Christ love you. God sent his only son to die for you. Anyone with ADHD. You are loved. You are here for a reason. You can do anything you put your mind to. You got it. You can do this. You can live a happy life. God is with you. God will never leave you. You are God's people. Bipolar. You are not alone. It's people that understand what you're going through. It's okay to talk to someone. It's okay to let people know how you feel. Don't hold it in. Let someone know what you're going through. You got people that love you so much. They want you to talk to them. God love you so much. You are here for a reason. You have a purpose to live. All of you guys are loved. People truly love you. You got people around you that care about you so much. You put smiles on their faces. You bring them joy. You give people hope. God got you here for a reason. God love you all so much. God sent his only son to die that you can have life and have it more abundantly. God
God got a special place for everyone in his kingdom. God got a special place for all you guys in his kingdom. Christ loves you so much. And I want to thank you. I want to thank you all for so doing so much for those around you. For bringing so much joy into this world. Thank you. You are love. And you give us so much love. And I appreciate it. God love you so much. Christ love you so much. And I want you to know that I love you. You are my brothers. My sisters. We are all family. We are all God's children. God love us all. God love us all. And I want to give thanks to Sister Emily, the Gamer 14, for requesting this video. Because this video is so much needed. This video is so much needed because I want you to know that you are so important. Each and every last one of you are so important. You are so special. You play special parts in people's life. You have special places in people's heart. You bring light into the world. You all bring light into this world. Right? So put a smile on your face and don't you worry. Because you're going to make it through this. You're going to make it through this. You're going to make it through this. That's right. You see, you got God with you. You got God on your side. So whatever you're going through, God is going to make it work out in your favor. That's right. I understand, I understand, I understand, I understand, I understand. Sometimes, times can get real hard. You can get real depressing at times. It feels like you're in this by yourself. That you're all alone. That nobody understands you. But I want to tell you right now. I want you to understand this right now. You are not alone. No, you are not. I want you to know that people do understand. There are people who do understand. God understands. Most of all, God understands. You are not alone. You are not alone. People do love you. Most of all, God love you. God love you so much. God love you so much. I can't express it enough how much God love you. God love you so much. Don't you know he sent his only son, Jesus Christ, to die for you. That you can have happiness for all eternal. That you can have life for all eternal. So I want you to lift your head up high. And I want you to put that smile on your face. And I want you to tell the devil, I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. You will not take away my happiness. You will not steal my joy. Everything's going to be all right. Everything's going to be all right. Everything's going to be all right. I understand. Some people got health problems. Some people got financial problems. Some people got relationship problems. But whatever problems you got. For God, it's not too big for God to handle. It's not too big for God to handle. No, it's not. You get down on your knees and you pray. And when you get through praying, you give God thanks for whatever you pray for. That's right. You claim your victory because you are more than a conqueror through Christ Jesus. That's right. You are more than a conqueror through Christ Jesus. That's right. I want you to feel good about yourself. I want you to feel that happiness. I want you to know that you're going to be okay. You're going to be okay. Yes, everything's going to work out in your favor. That's right. That's right. Yes. Yes. You're going to be okay. It's going to work out in your favor. Keep your head up high, keep your head up high, keep your head up high. Yes, I want you to know you're a beautiful person, inside and out. You're smart, 
seen God but you believe he's there he's there you have never seen Christ but you believe he's there he's there that's faith that's faith believing even though you haven't seen it believing even though it haven't happened yet that's faith that's faith that's faith never give up your faith never stop believing Whatever you ask God for, whatever you need God to do, believe. He's going to give it to you. He's going to do it. He already know your needs. He already know your wants. And he's an on-time God, on-time God. He's never late. He may not do it when you want to, but he's going to do it. He's on time. See, we got to acknowledge God, 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 in all we do. That's right. In all things you do, acknowledge God, and He will direct your path. Because when God directs your path, He's going to lead you in the right way. Trust me, he's always on time. That's right. Keep your faith. Never give up. Don't listen to the devil. He's a lie. He's a deceiver. He wants you to give up because he wants you to fail, 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 fail. Let him take that from you. Keep believing. Stand on faith. Stand on faith in God. And you will be victorious, victorious, victorious. God will open doors for you. He might not open a door that you want sometimes. 
because he have a better door for you. You will be surprised. Just stand on faith in God. What it'll do for you. Oh, he's a mighty God he is. He knew you before you were born, 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 born. That's right. He knew you before you even were born. He knew everything about you. The color of your hair. The color of your eyes. The color of your skin. How many teeth you got. <laughs> Think about it. Even the number of hairs on your head is counted for, counted for, counted for. And he knew it. Yes, he's a powerful God, a powerful God. Mm. Think about it. You don't think God gonna take care of you? You don't think he's gonna deliver you and give you what you want? Give you what you need? He sent his only begotten son to die for you. That's how much his love is for you. Mm. That's right. Don't give up. Don't stop believing. God love you so much, so much, so much that it's in His only begotten Son, Christ, to die for you, to die for your sins, that you may have life and have it more abundantly, abundantly, abundantly. So you keep your faith in Him. He will deliver. Stand on faith. Keep believing. You are more than a conqueror. 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 You are more than a conqueror through Christ Jesus. Yes, you are. God will never leave you. Nor forsake you. No, he can't. God cannot lie. His word is true. I will never leave you nor forsake you. Oh, yes. That's the loving God we got. God wants you to know how much he loves you. How much he will deliver you. Say believe. Just believe. Just believe. God love you so much. You don't have to worry. You don't have to stress. Cause God love you. God love you so much. God love you so much. God love you so much.
know that God love you. God love you. God love you. God love you so much. God love you so much. So put a smile on your face and put joy in your heart because God love you. God love you so much.
Jesus.